In this episode of the Get Fed podcast, we take a look at how decision making influences trust. We'll see you inside. I'm JB, master presenter, former Fortune 50 sales executive, and your guide for everything sales and productivity. I'm the doctor, Dr. Andre Caruso, a clinical psychologist and your resident expert in behavior, mindset, and wellness. We hope you're hungry. It's time to get fed by JB and the doctor. What is up, everybody, and welcome to the Get Fed Podcast. It's JB, your host for the day. Super excited to be here. As always, if you have not yet, like, subscribe, follow, do us a favor, give us the like, the subscribe, the follow. If it's your first time listening, thank you for joining us. As always, here in the Get Fed Podcast, we try to keep it to under 10 minutes and give you some of the psychology of business. Over the last month, month and a half, my emphasis, uh, as I've hosted, has been around decision-making. And decision making to me is a is an absolute meta skill that we don't necessarily have a tremendous amount of training on and we don't always formally look at. And yet, if we do, we start to recognize that it's an incredibly important skill. That's why I said meta, right? It, it's, it's overarching almost everything that we do. And it has a disproportionate impact on our lives professionally and personally, right? A better decision making consistently leads to better results consistently. No shock there. And yet we don't often put a lot of emphasis on it and we don't necessarily take a look at it very closely. And so today what I wanted to do was focus on decision making again, but this time I wanted to look at it through the context of trust and decision making. Now, I could say that trust and decision making, you know, it goes both directions, but because our focus is on decision making itself, I'm going to take a look today with you at how decision-making impacts trust. And there are a number of ways that this, this happens. The first thing I wanna speak to is decision-making on an inclusive basis. Uh, this is kind of the idea that, hey, I'm going to include the other uh, stakeholders that are involved with this decision in the decision-making context. You know, it's, it's that, it's that age old example of, Hey, I'm going to the car dealership. I'm going to buy a car. I'm by myself. Uh, the car dealer offers me a deal and I say, Hey, I need to speak to my spouse. And the car dealer might turn around and say, well, you know, what's your spouse going to say that you don't already know uh, to try to get the sale. And you could go ahead and proceed there. Yet you might just erode the trust of your spouse because you didn't include them in the decision making. And if we're looking to foster trust in our relationships, one of the easiest ways to do it is be inclusive in our decision making. If there's other stakeholders, include them in the decision making. In other words, don't necessarily treat your decision from an authoritarian standpoint. We kind of take a look at this. And even if you are the final arbiter of the decision, maybe, just maybe, there's a benefit from a trust factor of being inclusive in that decision making, make sure that the other stakeholders feel at least heard and engaged on the decision. So you can you can take advantage of their opinions, their expertise, you can keep them engaged and focused. Uh, and in business, this can have tremendous results, but even within your family and with your friends, it, it makes a difference. So that's that's one element in which trust can really influence, or decision making, excuse me, can influence trust. Uh, but there's a number of others. Uh, transparency in your decision making how and why you came to a decision will build trust every decision we make in life typically has an impact that extends beyond us i would like to say nothing we do is in a vacuum and and i say this on repeat all the time it's a really important concept because when it comes to any planning or anything in business there's always more than just us involved and so there's something to be said about having some transparency in how you make your decisions and being open about it. It anytime we have enhanced communication, whether or not somebody agrees with the outcome, if they understand the underlying motivation behind a decision, they're a lot more accepting of it. It can be really powerful and it helps not just uh build trust, but it helps maintain trust. Open communication often does. It's it's amazing 
but it's something we should consider. So when it comes to decision making and trust, it's not just uh, it's not just being transparent and being inclusive. There's more to this, uh, but it is fascinating to me how little things can develop trust. And oftentimes, if we're trying to develop trust quickly or maintain a really strong environment of trust to, to achieve better results. And anytime you got two people working together, the greater the trust, the greater the results, I promise you that. Uh, this is really important. So there's a couple of others that, that you could look at ethical decision making. Yeah, I would hope that most, most of the people listening here, anybody watching, you're making ethical decisions, good moral ethical decisions. I hope. When we do make ethical and morally sound decisions, uh, people can respect that as long as they understand, again, the logic and the ethics behind the decision. Because ethics and morality, you know, those, those can be a little squirrely for people. If we make our decisions with transparency and we make them with inclusivity and then we make them ethically and morally, we have an incredible foundation to build trust. Absolutely fascinating how much this can influence and impact trust. And if you do this consistently and consistency always lends itself to trust because it, it lends itself to certainty and expectations being met, it's incredible what you can achieve. Now, on the flip side, if we fail to be inclusive, if we fail to be transparent, if we fail to be ethical and moral in our decision making, there's serious consequences. I mean, there are, there are, this is problematic. And there are leaders and there are people out there that will not be ethical, they will not be moral, they will not be transparent, and they certainly will not be inclusive. This can have an incredibly negative impact on, on trust. And, and the fact is, if we make consistently poor decisions or we consistently uh, fail to be transparent or inclusive in our decision making, or we do the things that, that are uh, self-motivated uh, and they aren't in the best interest of the people around us, then that absolutely can have a negative impact. Those that poor decision making, I'm going to call it poor decision making has a negative impact. It will very quickly erode and subvert the trust that you do have established already. And so this lens of looking at how decision making influences trust is something that we should keep top of mind. This is something that as business owners and as professionals and as a uh, as people who hopefully have strong relationships in our lives, when we're making decisions, just ask yourself the three questions. Am I being inclusive? Am I including people and stakeholders in the decision making? Am I being transparent? When I make a decision, am I open about how I came to that decision? And am I honest with myself and with the people around me about that decision? And then am I making an ethical and hopefully moral decision. Uh, and is there a baseline for my decision that that makes sense ethically and morally to the people around me? If I can do that, you're not just gonna maintain trust, you're absolutely gonna strengthen trust, and that is going to have some incredible results in anything that you're trying to accomplish. It's a cool cool subject, isn't it? It's, uh, it's really pretty, pretty interesting to me. Uh, so I'm curious, have you, have you, thought about decision-making and trust in this way? Have you looked at it through this lens before? And if you haven't, what's your, what's your feedback on it? What do you think about it? Something you're going to try doing moving forward? I'd love to hear. You know, I'm JB Podcast, brought to you by JB and the Doctor. Super excited to wrap up the topic of decision-making. Going to move on to a new topic shortly here. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a follow. We'd love to see it again. Hopefully you got some value. You're able to take some, take action on it and improve some of your results in your personal and professional life right now today. Thanks so much. Have yourself a phenomenal start to the week.